Oh, oh, hey guys, thank you for joining us today at a McDonald's training session. Uh, we have a little training video from a little guy. <laughs> you may know him or recognize him, but uh, we're not sure, so <laughs> give it away, Michael. Hi, I've got something very new and special that I'd really like for you to see. It's a video about satisfying the customer called Doing Whatever It Takes. Now you're probably wondering, what does Michael Jordan know about satisfying the customer? Well, let me tell you, when I step onto the basketball court, those 18,000 screaming people aren't just fans, they are my customers. If you ever start a new job, you know there's not very many perks. You gotta make new friends, you gotta have a new boss. But there is one small pleasurable moment before you start your first day, and that is the corporate training video. A corporate training video is a fun way for a company to teach its staff the ropes. Often using bad acting and a very low budget, they are put into scenarios that no staff would ever be in. And they talk in ways they never would. These corporate training videos, for some reason, they always include rap. I don't know, really bad, really bad, really, really, really bad rap. I'm selling to the customers to make them feel all right. I'm buying all these products with oh so much delight. Selling is service. And service is selling. Service is selling. And selling is service. I love how they're all just like, and I don't want to be here, but he's forcing me to. I wonder what it's like to work at a fair. You know, the ones where there's a parking lot and then the next day it's a full blown amusement park and you're like, how did they do that? Is it safe? Well, today we get to put ourselves in the shoes of a Cedar Park employee on their first day and watch the Cedar Park employee training video. <laughs> I like how the first minute of this right off the bat is just literally an advertisement for the park people already got hired at. Yeah, I, yeah, we're already here. Yeah, I got that. Some safety concerns resulting from guest actions may best be illustrated by watching a guest named Elwood enjoying his day. Running, jumping on or off a moving ride, sitting on rails or fencing, Failure to keep hands or arms inside the ride. Overcrowding of seats or other areas. So far this just literally looks like any rich kid's TikTok. Where they're just jumping on cars and breaking stuff and just being generally ignorant. Let's see how an alert operator handles a guest who is too short to ride. Hi there, how are you? Uh, just a minute, let me check his size. Uh, he's not quite tall enough for this ride. There are some smaller rides over in Kitty Land that would be perfect. Uh, that's okay. He can ride. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sorry, ma'am. We can't change the rules. You need to be at least 54 inches to ride this ride. That's what she said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where a required height is mandatory. Tears. Bribery. And threats must be ignored. If you have trouble convincing a guest, call your supervisor immediately. I honestly am not sure there if he was supposed to be a kid or he's just like a man with no legs. Because if it's a man with no legs, that was very rude. As employees, you have some other responsibilities as well. First, dress neatly. Guests will relate your personal appearance with safety and your authority. Always look your best. Which employee do you think our guests will respect and obey more readily? Honestly, they both look sketchy to me. The guy on the left just looks like a low-key sociopath who's about to be like a mass murderer, and then the one on the right is immediately after he got arrested. Let's check out the quality of the customer service. I'm sure they only hold them to the highest of standards. That was pretty stupid, lady. 
This wouldn't have happened if you wouldn't have tried to get off the ride while it was still moving. Well, nobody told me. There weren't any signs. Signs? You don't need signs. You need common sense. That works, because that's uh, exactly what I was thinking, that you should say to the lady, you dumb, stupid lady, why are you jumping off a moving carousel, you dummy, dummy, dumb, dumb? There's a lot you can do to make sure our rides and equipment keep running safely. First, carefully complete all safety checklists. Read each item when you make the check, and then mark it off as you do the inspection. Nick, I'm glad their safety check is literally just him going, ooh, is the bolt tight? Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep, tight enough, tight enough. My fingers cannot make it any tighter, so therefore maximum tightness. Like, that's why I don't go to fairs. Because of you, our guests know they are welcome. They know they will have a good time. And even though they don't think about it, they know they will be safe. That's right, so don't think about it because you're definitely safe, only if you don't think about it. If you think about it, well, we don't want to think about it. And so now what I want you to think about is hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, please, because it helps a new YouTuber out a lot. I think it's really fun making these videos and it shows that you also think they're fun.